the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Love God you. bless you. You know what? This is this is a I really enjoy what we talked about this morning, this Sunday session. And that's I'm gonna break it down to a sections A, B, C, D, you know, whatever it takes to, to finish it out. But I do want to make sure you remember is to subscribe. If you like the video, uh, subscribe to it. Because that's what we need to continue to show that we're doing and we're on the right track. Uh, but if you don't, I'm still going to preach the gospel. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the topic we're talking about today, the subject or the topic we're talking about today is right here. Uh, let me show it to you. I love this one because I'm trying to bring out a point. The point is right here. Uh, the descriptor or the title is down in the far head right corner. And I, I, I moved the other one as far as teaching the gospel is sure way it was written. I put that to the left now so that you can stay focused on what is your responsibility and what is the subject for the day. And this one is talking about is God. And when he said, I did not, and I guess we could change, we could change the title and say, God did not, so nobody will get uh, confused. Uh, but God said, I, I did not call you to be hateful, superior, or seek fame, glory. I didn't call you that. That's the, I don't know where you got that from. I don't know why you think that's important. Because all that said, the, 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 if you're trying to be superior, I didn't call you to be prideful. I didn't call you to be superior. I didn't call you to seek vain glory. I called you to go preach the gospel. I called you to help others receive eternal life. I gave you eternal life if you are in Christ. You have eternal life. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes him should not perish but have everlasting life. He came, he gave his son for you to have eternal life. And now some of you sit there and say, well, I don't, you, you're gonna, once you die, that's it. Then you wanna have faith in that's up to you. But also those, those of us that are believers and many others, know that we believe by faith that there's another that's eternal life. And we want to be in eternal life connected to God. That's what eternal life means. Opposed to eternal death. Disconnected from God. So this topic, and then while we're showing this, uh, this, this week is to get you to internalize what, what you need to do as a believer. You, you call to preach the good news. You call to bring people out of the dark into God's marvelous light. You call to obey the, the, the guidance that God gave or Christ gave. But then you can either go by the law, but the laws are good too. You can go by the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments is, is talking about, and you wrap it up in two great commandments to love the Lord thy God with all the heart, all our mind, all that strength, and to love thy neighbors as self. And then Christ said, I gave you a new commandment in John 13, 34. A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I love you, that you also love one another. And 35 said, and men will know that you're my disciples for the love that you have for one another. Let's love one another. And we that are believers are both to encourage people to repent. Because Christ said, I didn't come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. So let's do that, amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to make comments. It helps me to understand where I'm at and what I need to do to fix things. Because I'm not perfect. I'm not even trying to be. I know who he is. That's Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. I'll check you later. Bye-bye. Right? I just, I just thought of something. <laughs> because when you said that. You know... Abel died for the sins of this world. He did. He did. Because at that time, <laughs> the only sin at that time was him being born in it, and then his brother. <laughs> his brother, yeah, yeah. That's why his blood, look, it was so powerful that his blood 
cried out. Right. Yes. And just like the blood of Christ. So he was uh, he was symbolic of Christ. Yeah, he was another and, son. And because Christ's blood cleanses of our sin. Yeah. yeah. Because, because he did the will of his father, God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he, and he first died lady. for it. He yes, died sir. because of it. Yes, sir. I believe he died because of it. What's that? Who? Abel? Abel. Abel, well, he died, he he died, died for being obedient. Yeah, that's he did the will of God. Exactly. The other one was the one that was mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, 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 wait, if he was doing what Cain was doing, I don't think there would have been no uh, killing, killing him. Right? But no, he did it because he was you know, disobedient. Yeah. Uh, not Abel, but Cain. Cain you know? Yeah. Hey, wrap this one up with me. This is this is the 16. This is Galatians 5. Because once again, it's to show you what a Christian is. If you want to be superior, this is showing you what superior is supposed to be and what superior is not supposed to be. This is the I'm gonna bring it up. And this is also to bring about the fact is don't go after vain glory. Yeah. Don't go after vain glory. That's all that stuff is, is vain glory. You know? It's so temporary. Exactly. That's just walk in the spirit. You know, I, I another thing before you, before I bring yeah. it up, I was sitting there, man. I noticed that those those the the deal with witchcraft and stuff like that. The, the one thing that may benefit them or opportunity for them to get out is they're exposed to the spiritual realm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I can't, I can't imagine. I read one book, and uh, it was a book of, uh, I think it was Revelation. I mean, uh, it was a, it was Anne Baxter did a book, and she was talking about the Revelation of hell. And 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 one uh, occasion where there were people who were witchcraft, they you know in witchcraft and everything, and they were going to a believer's home. And that home was, you know, after the hero dwells in a secret place, right? Mm -hmm. That home was surrounded by angels to protect. You know, in that hedge of protection. Yeah. And they, they, they were, they were being led to try to penetrate that. But one of the things is that, that person saw was a conversation. Are you trying to say what I'm saying? They're not blind to the spiritual realm. I guess the one I'm talking about, Gehazi and, and, and uh, Elijah, when he said, oh Lord, open his eyes. Yeah. That yeah. There's more, there's more. More of us. More of us than, than, than them coming against us. Yeah. So somebody that gets into that realm, you know, that's, that black stuff, you know they're exposed to seeing the gospel. You yeah. know, seeing the power of heaven, yeah. the force they, of heaven. They, 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 have know, to... they know their weakness. Come on now, <laughs> come on. And, and, and I, I'm, I'm suspecting that even God gives them an avenue to hate change. Oh yeah. You exposed to this. This is because you're not you're not dead yet. You, yeah. it, it's not over with. The devil lying to you said to tell you that your soul is soul. You know how they talk about soul to the devil? Not, not in the eyes of God. If you want to turn, right? Does you you can you can know where I'm coming from? If you want to change, you still have the just like you got the decision to get in the darkness. Mm -hmm. Are you tracking where I'm coming from? Just like you got to have the decision. Because you made a decision, right? If somebody wanna go into darkness, and that's what I'm trying to say. Those of you that wanna go into darkness, those of you that sit there and gave say you gave a ritual and said that you you you, you worship Satan and you commit to Satan, you can think the same words are you kind of you understand what I'm trying to say? The same words that you made to make a commitment. It's the same words that you can do to get out of that commitment and to turn to God. You can become a believer in God. And you probably be more effective in ministry because you've been exposed to a spiritual realm. You know, because you and I, we have to fight that stuff, but we don't, we don't see, we don't see the angels. <laughs> we don't see the angels. You don't even see the, you don't even see the, the, the demonic forces. But you probably been exposed to them. I'm aware of them. You're aware of them. 
you have, you sit there and you you have them with your body. You know, sometimes you, you sleep and sometimes something touch you or whatever. Yeah, I don't know whether the angel. I, I I prefer an angel doing it. <laughs> Something's bothering you. Sometimes you you get up and say in the name of Jesus. Right? You are you are in a spiritual warfare. If you, you we both the Bible says that, right? The weapons of a warfare are not cardinal, but mighty through God. So we have weapons. And we're fighting not with physical flesh, but with the spirit. That's all I'm trying to say. I want to throw that in there. So those are those the main listeners that run across this. I know God, God works a different way. If you into that junk, or whatever you think you caught in it, and you've been exposed and you've actually seen angels, that's the time for you to turn around and say, well, I think I'm leaving y'all alone because that, that angel, I'm seeing them. <laughs> and, and, and you know what? I ain't gonna go against him. Because I know I can't beat him and I know everybody, you know good way everybody else can't do it either. Yeah. If you see an angel, if you see a hands of protection around a home, yeah. what would, I know you and I would, I know you would, I would. I'd be like, oh, well, I, I, can I, I think I'm gonna go over there. In? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> And you, I'm still saying, what? I, 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 I say this often. I mean, the last thing the enemy wants to do is expose himself to where I visually see him. Because mm -hmm. now I'm moving beyond faith. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's, yes, no, there's no need really for faith anymore because if you exist woo, woo. and I can see you, then I know there's, mm -hmm. there's no, you know, why? Just like when, 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 when Christ was there. Come on now. They didn't need faith to huh? see what he was doing. Huh? Uh -uh. They just they, they just observed. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the yeah. authority that I would walk in. Come on now. But you, could you know what's going on? Yeah. Just like Christ did, right? Because Christ knew. Christ even had to tell the dog, well, David, be quiet. He saw, he saw the spiritual work and he allowed <laughs> His disciples to see. He did. They make the head back rejoicing that he yeah. cast out. Come on, man. Not like that. Look, when, when they saw when they saw them and <laughs> on 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 at Gethsemane, Woo. they wanted to make altars. Woo. Because Woo. They, I mean, you, you, I mean, it, you know, you know, you know, you there's know. no faith yeah. required yeah. to move. Into yeah. that, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You just you 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 become like like he just spoke it and 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 it and it it manifested because he knew. See, yeah. by, by faith he knew. He said, "You got it by faith. You got to be born again. Why? Because yeah. you need to be connected to the source. Because it's the source. Yeah. It's the source that makes the difference, ain't it?" So, so that's what I'm just saying. So those people, like you said, you expose to this stuff. If you expose to blackness, you also been exposed to light. And you can, you have a right. Why, what? If you agree, while you still breathing. And that's the thing that's about some of those people that think they can't come to help, come to come to gospel, right? Because they're sin. Yeah. We no, we it, are. Everybody is, is is. You can't come any other way. <laughs> you can't. No, you there's didn't. no other way to come. <laughs> <laughs> that brother just preached that. that. That that's a t-shirt. Yeah. Because there's, there's no, no way. other way. You're gonna come unclean because that's where you came from. Yeah. But the point is that his blood is superior <laughs> to it's, cleanse it's, you. It's, it's it's that's that's its purpose. Woo! Ooh, brother. I love that. Do you see what I'm saying? That that makes that just that's the gospel being preached right there. Yeah. That that was that was a revelation from us. That's from him sitting there saying, I don't care how low you could be the lowest of the lowest. You still can become a child of God. And then at my blood, my son was sent to bring you out of darkness into the marvelous light. And that's all we're doing. That's our platform is about. And anybody else's platform should be about. 
is to say, I don't care where you came from. You can be a child of God. And what we want to show you this, because this right here, let me go back to these scriptures. You wrap this is this is it. This is it. These two these two slides. This is it. But we want to make sure they get the detail because we talked a lot already. This, this is it. Walk in the spirit. That's basically why I guess I get that come from. Because the fact is, if you you get in the spirit, you're gonna see some stuff. Go yeah. ahead. Galatians 5 16. This I say then. Walk in the spirit. And ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Man, it's simple. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would do. That ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, come on now, ye are not under the law. Come on. I have to read that again. But yeah, if come on. ye be led of the spirit ye are not under the law no no now no. the works of the flesh are manifest mm. which are these now these are the things people right brother Isaac? these are some of the things that god is telling you not to do yes. right yes. And, and, and and therefore those people I, and i want i didn't mean to interrupt you but i wanted to say those people who we, we talked about from the slave trade Jim Crow laws, even this modern time. You both do not do. You're supposed to be moving away from these things because they're not godly. If you want to be godly, right? Now, if you want to be ungodly, and I think that's what we were saying earlier, too, is that you made a choice by moving into these things. You're making a choice to do these things, and you know it. So then about you made your choice for death. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, um, so. 19. Okay, uh -huh. now understand this. If you're not walking in the spirit, you're okay. subject to this. It is, this is her. You have no way to get out of the things that you want to do right. That was yes. Paul said. Romans, this was saying the same thing too. Yeah. So you would not do the things that you would, so that you cannot do the things that you would mean what would do right. Amen. If you're walking in this flesh. It says, now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance. Emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, reviling, reveling, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I, I have told also you. told you in time past. Yeah, I have told you before. They which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And then I don't know, but did, did, did you read, did you hear what was coming out of his mouth out of the stain that came out of the word of God? And how can a whole swath of people, brother, answer? Because a lot of that stuff was in slavery. Yeah. During the slave trade. A lot of that stuff during the man's history uh, of not being in Christ. And all of it, the adultery. I'm pretty sure some of those slave traders were, were married. Now, can we agree with that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then the, the, those that won't marry, I, I guess you were in the fornication when you was raping those feet, those slaves, yeah. male or female. Brother Ali put a little, put more grave in them, put the males in there, too. I, I, was, I was trying to keep that vision out of my head, but, it, <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? It was the truth. He is that the truth. I mean, they even had a name for it. It was buck busting. Yeah. Trying to break their spirit. Yeah. Doing everything to break their spirit. You know, and unclean. As we talk about the fact, even on that ship, it was unclean. We talk about some of the slave homes were unclean and nasty. You know what I mean? They they, they just didn't care. Hatred. You that, that was taught generation to generation, brother Aston. You know, wrath. When you beat people because they don't submit to you, strife, sedition, hair, all that stuff. Envy. Do the thing, and it, what, what the bottom line you said was, they shall not inherit the kingdom. 
from God. And then we said in scripture earlier, said not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, shall enter to the kingdom of heaven. Or God. I don't know if it's said God, but that's what we're looking at. People look at later. But those who do the will of my Father. Interesting, correct? And then the rap piece, the last slide, of course, for this long discussion. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to make my slide out of it. <laughs> my videos out of it is this. Go ahead and read it for me. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. No law. And they that are Christ. And this ain't say if you be in Christ, did it? Did, yes. you, did you catch that one? This one is different between all the ones yes. about if you be in Christ. This one says. This oh, one is clear. This yes. is he, he, he has you. <laughs> he has you. Come on. You know how you used to say, I got you, bro. <laughs> got you back, bro. Come on now. Come I got on. you. <laughs> come on. There it is. That was it. Come on, because that he said it. This yes. one is very clear. And they that are Christ mm. have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Come on. If we live in the spirit. Come on. Let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory. That's the thing that last temptation of Christ was about. It was about they, they, they showed all the glory yeah. in the world, right? And that's called yeah. vain glory. And, and vain glory is temporary. Temporary. All those kingdoms they filled Christ at that time. And that's a commission you could show the space. We could have, who knows? But I'm just saying this. Whatever was existing at the time Christ was walking, all those are now no longer even here. Yeah. Provoking one another. Envying. One Envying another. one another. Those are things that's going on today. Those are things that we as believers need to walk in the spirit and not be envying. Just this ministry that envy other ministries. You know? You know what? <laughs> Galatians 5.26 sums up Facebook. Whose book? <laughs> Facebook. Facebook, okay. <laughs> because, I mean, I'm thinking people are posting for vainglory. Oh, yeah. They, they post people are thing. provoking one another on Facebook. <laughs> and they're envying one another. Yeah. I mean, that's the majority <laughs> of the people on that social media and, and not just Facebook, just social media. Just social media, yeah, yeah, yeah. They offer the, 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 the competition for uh, how many hits they got, how many yeah. people going to like them, and, you know, because nowadays you want feedback, but most of them say, if you like this, get like. They don't say, if you don't like this, but I said, if you don't like it, put a comment on that too. Let's see what you do about it. But it's it's just, it's just amazing, bro, that, that we get back to that title yet. He did not call us to be hateful. And hateful was in the last slides we were talking about. He didn't call us to be superior. If he called us superior, he didn't call us to be that nobody else can't be superior. And you know, the scripture I thought he had told me to put in that, that I didn't. Remember that one that says in Jeremiah 17, it says, he who trusts in the flesh or trusts in the man uh, and making his arm his his strength uh, it has, has departed from the Lord are, are in bad shape, are cursed. You know, if you put your trust in your flesh, if you put your trust in man, right? That's the scripture goes, because the scripture further down says, if you trust in the Lord, then you have all these blessings that comes behind it. You know what I mean? But if you trust in the flesh, and I'll use, once again, that, that we said, there's got a whole group of people trusting their flesh. There's a whole group of people trying to protect. And the second thing I'm worried about, Brother Asin, is the poor people. Mm -hmm. The poor people, whether you're black or white, that's trying to give up your eternal life, or never receive eternal life, because you too been worried about other people. You sitting there will hate somebody because of the color of their skin. 
And now we got people hating people because of their orientation and feel that they're just like, I got the right to hate them. No, you don't. Do really? Where's that? Where's that come from? Where's the people you supposed to hate? That's a I can tell you. I, I don't know. It's, it's not there. He didn't give it to you. But I can see if you don't like the sin. I don't like. I don't like people being raped. I don't like people being uh, children being uh, molested. I don't like that. I don't like that. But I don't need to. I'm not going to give up my soul because of their behavior. I'm not going to hate them. I'm not going to give them unforgiveness. Look at that unforgiveness. No. I'm going to go, my fact, it's better for us to just point to the source of where it came from. The fall of man, which you said one time before, uh, and then the devil, who's behind the whole thing. Stop trying to hate people. And stop hate, focus on the source. What's behind it? The, you know, the spiritual issue yeah. behind it. Amen? Amen. Hey, brother, I appreciate your time. I went away over time, you and I. Uh, the video that was about the normal time we normally go, but we spent a whole almost an hour. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we got it. It, it. It was worth it. It was because it gives a, it gives a chance to, to internalize and and hopefully it's the stuff we're going to talk. Good eyes go on the videos is give people to, uh, to internalize too. Think about what's being said. Think about the gospel. And is it worth? Is it worth people? to give up your soul for a position or an ideology or a doctrine or anything other than Christ. Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and life. We're asking you, and I'm saying that to all of you that's going to have a listen to this. I'm going to put this in the beginning. You know, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do my little intro. My intro will summarize this. Is, is it worth giving up your eternal soul for man, cardinal, God. And the answer will be no. Period. Amen. Hey, bro, God bless you. I, I, I appreciate you listening. I mean, really, we covered a lot. Uh, it is so important, really, for us to look and say, look, don't be manipulated. Neither one of us, all of us, have to sit there and catch ourselves, be led by the Spirit of God as to whether we go into the path that leads to destruction or we go into the path that leads to life. Yeah, there's going to be some people that don't like that, but that's not your point. Your point is eternal. What, what must you do to inherit eternal life? That's the goal, right? And I hope that's your goal. And to get your eternal life, you need to have life here, not death. You don't need to walk in darkness. You need to walk in light. And that's what we're going to talk about. So I appreciate it. We're going to break these videos down to, you know, A, B, C, D, until we get it right until we complete it. But the fact is that remember God loves you and you need to love one another. And I hope you uh, channelize what we're talking about and let's choose life. That's all I'm asking you. And that's all I'm recommending. Choose life. Choose life, amen. God bless you. We all make mistakes and we're never too low. See, God can't reach us and turn us around. And that's what I like about the gospel. All right, be blessed. Bye bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.